I'm Math Dad. I'm Science Mom. And this spring, we're going to be making a series of videos targeted at the major topics in fourth and fifth grade math. So you might be wondering why Math Dad has a guitar. Well, that's because learning math is a lot like learning the guitar. Let me tell you about how I learned the guitar this spring. I found myself with some extra time and a guitar, and I thought, I'm going to learn. So I downloaded an app and started watching some lessons, and I learned the D chord. I got my fingers in position, and I started trying to pluck. And I got to where I could do it, but then I moved my fingers. Of course, I couldn't find it again, and I had to keep practicing over and over just to play one silly little chord. Okay, this was harder than I thought, but I kept at it, and then I learned a second chord, an A chord. But then I had to move back and forth between those two chords. Do you oh. know what my memory of this is? My main memory of you learning to play the guitar is seeing you go, ow, ow, ow. Oh, my fingers hurt. I mean, these strings are not gentle. And yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to. I couldn't practice for more than 15 to 20 minutes a day at first. But eventually I got to where I could bounce back and forth between those chords. Um, and I learned a song, because there was a song that used just those two chords, and suddenly what had been difficult work turned into fun because I could sing along. He was about ready to give up before he played his first song, but then when he played the first song, he was like, ooh, this actually is fun. That's right, I, I was sold, and it got me to practice a lot more because I was having fun, and that got me to the E chord. <gasps> and now, with three chords, there were so many songs that we could play. You'd be surprised at how many songs are just those three chords in different orders. So I bet that got me through that and I was having fun getting to these songs. Although it took a lot of practice to be able to bounce back and forth from one chord to another. Eventually I got onto like a G chord. Boy, I had to reach all the way over and it was so tough. I wanted to avoid songs that used a G chord, but that didn't work very well. I, I just needed to practice it. That, that was what happened. I thought that was hard. I mean, an F chord, I've got to like lay my finger all the way across all the frets. I, I can't even do it right. <laughs> so yeah, I've had a lot of fun learning to play the guitar. And I hope as you've been listening, you've been asking yourself, what does this have to do with math? And maybe you know the answer or you've come up with an answer of your own. If so, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments. What lesson about math can we get from learning to play the guitar? So I came up with five math learning principles that correspond with learning the guitar. So first of all, you have to master the fundamentals if you want to reach the fun stuff. I had to practice those chords bouncing back and forth over and over before I was ready to actually get to any songs. And in math, it's the same way. We need to know some of those basic multiplication and addition facts if we want to get to the fun stuff. It's kind of like reading a book. If you had to sound out every word you read, it would be pretty difficult to enjoy reading books. But once you're able to read through the sentences without so much effort, then reading can become a lot of fun. Principle two, pace yourself. Do at least a little each day. Your fingers might get sore and you might have to stop, but come back and do more each day. Don't assume that you can learn it all at once. That, that, that's not the way life works, is it? No, you can't learn the guitar in one day and you can't learn all of fourth <laughs> and fifth grade math in one day either. But if you practice a little every day, then you can go pretty far. You learn more when you make mistakes. Now that seems a little weird, doesn't it? That you would learn more by making mistakes? But if you're not making mistakes at what you're doing in life, well, you've probably already learned it and you're not learning anything new. Mistakes are our chance to grow and develop. So we do need to learn from those mistakes. It can't be all mistakes, but mistakes are not bad and we shouldn't shy away from things just because they're difficult at first and they're causing us to make mistakes. I like that. You also learn more when you're having fun. So we saw that in my story. I was str really struggling to play, but once I got to some songs where I could sing along and pretend I was a real guitar player, whoa ho ho, then I practiced a lot more and I just had a great time and my chords got a lot better because I was spending more time doing it. What are some of your favorite ways to make math fun? Well, 
looking for applications, uses of the math, maybe recreational math. Um, games. I, games. I love competitions, competitions with just myself. But also, when I see numbers out in life, I, I try to factor them. When I look at an address, like, oh, that one's a prime number. or Yeah, just, just look for ways to, to incorporate math and to challenge yourself. And finally, persistence is more important than speed. You don't need to be the fastest one in calculating, or you don't need to be the fastest learner of all, but you want to persist and be consistent with your efforts, and over time, that will turn you into a true scholar. That's how you'll get good at these things. When you look at a professional musician and you say, wow, they can play so well. Well, guess what was behind that ability? Persistence. Yeah, so many hours of practice and, and diligence. that They got to be the experts that they are, the, the amazing musicians that they are by practice. And with math, it's no different. If we, we want to be Einstein, we're going to have to do some thinking to get us there. And a little secret for everybody. So my, my nickname is Science Mom. There's a reason it's not Math Mom. My math skills are pretty rusty. And recently we've discovered there are some pretty big holes in my math foundation. And I'm enjoying this chance to go back and find out where they are and fix them. So as we go through these videos, these are not going to be a complete curriculum to teach you everything in fourth and fifth math grade math, it's more like a checklist to see, okay, do you know these principles? And there'll be some practice problems and you can check your math skills along with me and say, okay, what areas do I know well? What areas do I still need to work on? And we, I hope that you'll put these five principles into practice, especially that this idea of persistence of practicing every day, because that's how you'll get better. And I promise you the most fun math is yet to come after this level. We plan to release videos each Tuesday and Thursday. I hope that schedule works and we hope that you will join us for this journey. Work hard, grow smart, and we'll see you next time.